Yeah, no smiles from Ronda Rousey's camp either right now. Yeah, Rousey and the Bellas have had their issues with the Riot Squad over the past number of weeks. A bit of confusion here. Oh, it's just a discussion over who's going to begin this match, and it appears as Nikki Bella and Ruby Ryan taking advantage with an attack from behind. Well, I understand this. I think, uh, obviously, when it comes to experience, Nikki Bella has far more experience than Ronda Rousey. Nikki, a two-time women's champion. Oh, big time clothesline. Clothesline takes Ruby Riot down and a nice drop kick by Nikki Bella. The Bella twins saying that uh, if it's a magical couple of days in Melbourne. Yeah, they were out checking out some, some of the vineyards, checking out some stuff for their uh, wine line, Bella Radici. They've got a lot going on, checking out the hot springs. Well, now's no time to reminisce about the hot springs or wine country. You need to You're focus right. on the Riot Squad. That's true. The three incredibly dangerous young ladies. Face first off her knee, Nick Bella with a shoulder tackle takes down Ruby Riot. Drop kick by Bray. Lip Morgan called this, Renee, tonight the biggest match in the career of the Riot Squad. Hands down for them to walk in Ooh. here in Melbourne, Australia to have this giant showcasing in front of 70,000 plus members of the WWE Universe. The spotlight is Cover on here by Bray. Kick out by Liv. They want to put their mark on the women's division in all of WWE. This is a great place to do that. Again, tag made to Nikki. You land a decisive victory over the Bella Twins, two of the most successful women ever. Nice double team in WWE and Ronda Rousey. Is it enough for Nikki to pin live here? And a kick out by Morgan. One of the biggest stars in the entire world. That, of course, is going to put the Riot Squad on the map in a big time way. This is a global oh. pay-per-view event. People all around Tag. the world are watching right now. And Sarah Logan, the Viking, with a running knee, now legal. Cover for the Riot Squad victory here, and a kick out at two. Liv Morgan, definitely one of the most unique women in the locker room with her Viking training. Grew up in the mountains. Sarah Logan, completely unorthodox when it comes to in-ring style. You can take a look here. Nothing fancy about that. Just run fast, knee hard. Sarah Logan uh, fights with a group called the Yamsborg. What is that? It's a Viking group. <laughs> she wears the Yamsborg cross on her gear, which she makes a lot of on her own. Yes, indeed. And their motto is uh, one shield, one brotherhood. She was actually just in Australia the week ago, I think. Oh! One shield. Uh oh. And here comes the self proclaimed juvenile delinquent, Liv Morgan. Cover. Both legs hook near fall again for the Riot Squad. You said one problem, shield. Child. Said one shield, one brotherhood. That actually, that mentality sort of adapts and fits when it comes to the Riot Squad. We find unity through mutiny. Yeah, they love raising hell. And they've done so since bursting on the scene here in WWE. We've got the Bella Twins that are obviously on the same page all the time, grew up from the same womb to where they are today. But you look at the Riot Squad. I've never seen three women come together and be on the same page as much as they are. I mean, they all look, both uh, Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan look up to Ruby Riot so much. Well, and the thing is, in a weird way, you can almost draw a comparison to a, a trio we're going to see later on tonight, that being the Shield. They burst onto the scene together as a united front. There was strength in numbers. It's all about trust and bond and working as a cohesive unit. And you can see how confident they are each and every week. And here comes a Ruby Riot. One of the most dangerous superstars in WWE today. Smash Mouth style. Ruby had a world of experience before she ever stepped in the doors of WWE. Honed her craft, learns all sorts of different styles, which is why she's fared so well in such a short period of time here in WWE. She looked unbelievable last week cover, against cover. Ronda Rousey. Is it enough here in an air fall? She didn't walk away with the victory last week, but she definitely put on a showcase. And you're right, but in Ruby Riot's mind, she's not happy without the victory. Sure, she put on a great display. Sure, she got a lot of the WWE Universe talking about how talented she is. But Ruby Riot wants to win at all costs. Well, she says she wants to be the Raw Women's Champion to prove myself in her words that you can come from nothing and have everything that have earned it because no doors were open for me. I kicked them down myself. And I definitely wouldn't want to be somebody between Ruby Riot and one of her goals. 
And now Sarah Logan. What a win it would be if Logan could knock off Nikki Bella. Perhaps it's right now. And a kick out by Nikki at two. You know, a lot of people have been discussing when it comes to potential. Sarah Logan may have, oh, roll up. Almost stole one there. Sarah Logan may have the most potential of anybody in the Riot Squad. She's, you, you, I believe, the youngest of the th Cover here. One, by Logan yet two, again, and a kick out. I believe Morgan is the youngest. Sarah Logan has not quite as much time in the ring as a Ruby Riot, but Sarah Logan has all the potential in the world to make big time waves in the women's division. And Logan continues to wear down Nikki Bella. We have not seen Ronda Rousey, the Raw Women's Champion, in this matchup as of yet. And I'm sure that's by design on behalf of the Riot Squad. You want to keep Ronda out of the ring as long as possible. Oh, every battle could be his last. She's trying her best to fight away back into the this. Elbows to the midsection of Logan. Ronda Rousey is itching to get inside this oh. ring tonight. Sarah just uncorked a forearm. Drop Nikki. Oh. Now Ruby Riot knocked off the apron. Nikki fighting back. Oh! Inzaguri off the second rope, and Logan's down. Nikki's down as well. And can she make the tag? Ruby. Took, oh, and oh. Morgan. Couple of cheap shots by the Riot Squad. Nikki and Bell is left on her own. Ronda back up on the apron. Ronda yelling, tag me in, tag me in. Gonna get her a wish. Here comes Rowdy, Ronda Rousey. Oh my goodness. Logan just mercilessly being whipped around by the arm. And again. Oh my God. Well, Rousey who just wears people out. The hip throws, the sweeps, the strikes, the submissions. Every week she gets better, more and more seamless, more fueled by the rage. Just like that. And Sarah Logan better cover up, because here comes Rousey. Rousey treating Logan like a heavy bag. And the Bella Twins gonna fight off the rest of the Riot Squad. Oh no! Oh my God! Re hit the post hard. Oh, did you hear that? Nikki trying to fight off Ruby Riot. Down goes Ruby. Ronda, uh -oh. meanwhile, dragging Logan back center of the ring. This doesn't go well. where she wants her. Morgan though from behind. Big time save from Liv Morgan. Certainly just saved Sarah Logan's arm for the time being. And this does not bode well for the Raw Women's Champion. Ronda is outnumbered. Is this your girl? The Bellas have been taken out. Is this your girl? Two on one attack. This could be the Riot Squad's mo. Uh oh. Uh -oh. She's not. No, she is. No way. She is. Are you kidding? Me? This is impossible. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God. was absolutely surreal. I have never seen anything like that in my entire life. Ronda Rousey taking down and submitting two women at the same time with a double stacked armbar. That was nuts. That was submission mad.